What's going on everybody? David here again. Today we're going to talk about some under cabinet lighting, maybe for your media cabinet, under your uh, cabinet for your kitchen. Let's get into it after this. Alright guys, so welcome to my channel, Reviews by David. I am David. Uh, this channel we love to talk about retro gaming, modern gaming, technology, smart home type stuff. And kind of like today, we're going to talk about some more LED stuff. Uh, I have other LED videos. I'll link them down below. Some Go V lights and stuff. We'll discuss Philips Hue and stuff down the road. So if you like this kind of stuff, like I said with gaming and everything, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me if you don't mind. And let's get into it. So... I found these on another YouTube channel. They're the basin lighting under the cabinet lights, and we're going to be putting them under this cabinet over here. I, I can't really tell where my hand is, but it's our little uh, farmhouse style media cabinet. And uh, I thought that needed, needed a little facelift. Needs some more lights in there. I really love my LGB lights and stuff. Uh, and this looked really good on the video I watched, so I'm going to make one, see if y'all might could use it. So let's unbox it real quick. See what we got here. All right. Of course, you know your power plug. This one plugs into the lights. There's only two. It's supposed to be four of them, so there's two of them. Adhesive pads. Got to have those. That's what I love. Of course, screws. Don't want to use those. Okay. Here's one of the lights. There's little little puck lights. There's be four of them in here. Two, three, and four. And it also comes with a remote, which is always nice. Uh, let's see here. They have a 30,000 hour long lifespan. Of course, they plug into the wall. Uh, they're, I believe they're 16 colors. These aren't like the crazy 25 million colors or anything like that. Which one? Yep, there it is. 16 colors, four flash modes, which is fine. I usually keep stuff on blue in this room or red if Alabama's playing. Ah, roll tide. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see how these look. I uh, might hook them up to a smart plug eventually to where I can turn them off my phone because I do not think these are Wi-Fi enabled. I did not see anywhere that it says Wi-Fi enabled, which is fine. I mean, we've got the remote too, as long as the kid doesn't lose it or anything. So of course you got your plug, plug into this and run it. Okay, it's four sides. So you got two sides here, two sides here, plug the end of it into the plug, puck light in there, put the adhesive on the backing, and we're gonna stick them up in there, see how they look. So let's get it cleaned up. Let's take a look at it. The miracle of camera work cut, and here we go. All right, so got everything sort of cleaned off except for the DirecTV and NVIDIA Shield thing. Um, I went ahead and hooked it up because I want to see how it worked. Didn't want to bore you watching all of that. Basically, you have this piece where the power supply hooks and this is the little IR sensor for the remote. And basically the way the cords double back and everything, I had to kind of play with it, decide where I want it to go. I think I'm gonna end up getting some double edge, double sided adhesive uh, tape or whatever and stick it up under here so it'll be clean and out of the way. I think I have to get some more, I think I'm out. So that'll be a project to finish this up another day. And kind of the same thing with this. This is what hooks into the LEDs and everything. That's where you see the LEDs hook up. Now these are kind of a pain to get in. Uh, they're not horrible. One or two were kind of a booger, but uh, got them all pushed in, made sure they all work. This is another piece that I'm going to have to get some adhesive and try to stick it up, tack it on here somewhere. They didn't give any more adhesive, so you got an alcohol pad and you got four of these 3M things that go on the puck lights. So nothing to stick these to anything, which is no problem. You can go to Walmart, get some Gorilla Tape or something and do it. Um, now these are a little bit more on the expensive side. These are $35. I'll link them down below so you can check them out on Amazon. Um, they're $35. They see, they look like they work really good. Uh, so let's get the remote out, as you can see, and power them on. There's red. Get what blue, blue, green, and then of course you can start cycling through some of the other colors. Ah, uh, supposed to have a strobe mode. Let me see if I got. Well, there's flash. There's fade. Smooth. Seems like for whatever reason, strobe doesn't work well. 
which is fine. I'll never use them in stroke anyway. And then the white's a cool white. Of course, it's not a warm white. That's what we love in this house, and everything's got to be cool white with all this stuff. Um, of course, you can dim them down and bring them back up. So that's a nice little feature. Like I said, I wish these were Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled to be able to use on my phone, but this isn't really bad. Now, again, for that $35 price point, you can get Govi LED strips and stuff for $20, bucks, $25 bucks if you want them Alexa enabled and all of that. But uh, I mean, it's really not bad. They put out a good amount of light. They got 30,000 hours of battery life. And the good thing I was going to check is I want to make sure it's putting one up here going to be enough. And it definitely looks like one will be fine, so that's great. So I can just one on each level and I'll have enough because I was worried if I had to do two I'd have to buy another kit because two four and I'd have been done and I'd have to get two more here and then I'd have two random ones to do something with but since I have four and I have three levels and this is a little bit bigger space I'm going to go ahead and put two in this one to light it up good and then just put one in the bottom ones and it's just the effect I don't need it to be perfect or anything crazy as long as it looks good and it seemed to look pretty good as it was so I'm pretty excited about it so I'm going to go ahead and clean these up, get them stuck on, and I'll bring you all back to see what they look like after they're installed. Um, all right, so now it's all completely installed, and overall I'm really happy with it. There are a couple points of contention that I'm not super excited about. Um, of course, so it comes with four, and these up, up here has two, this has one, this has one. Now looking at it, they look pretty similar. It's definitely good enough. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's going to be like it is for a little while, especially at the price of these $35. I've got other things i got to buy right now and stuff. So um, it looks really good, but I like how this top one is filled in more than these two bottom ones. All right, so in this case with six, I, I really wish I'd had another box or something to where buying a whole other pack could be justified. I could have two, two, and two, and two, eight, not six. Um, but if I do get another pack, I'm going to have to find where to put two others. I mean, there's no real sense in here. This one has different shelves. Um, I don't know what all's in there. Oh, broke plate. So, not really a good idea in there, I guess. Maybe on the back. I don't know. I don't know how two puck lights look on the back. But anyway, um, so they look really good. And, of course, you can go through the colors. There's red, green, blue. Of course, all the other extra little colors. Which does kind of bring me to another point, that's white. And of course, like I said, it's only cool white, so I'm not excited about that. We like warm light in this house. Um, it lights it up really well, though, so I mean, that's nice, too. And uh, like I said, you can dim it down or whatever, so it's not as bright. But it does a real good job, and I definitely like them, because they kind of spotlight, like our little Halloween decorations here. It does a good job spotlighting that. And we'll probably put more down here, because I believe these two are going to end up going behind our TV up on the wall. I'm going to get some hide-it mounts and hide these up there when we get a new TV. Um... Also, of course, like I said, it's not app controlled uh, via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So I've got my little IR sensor right here for this remote. No one's going to notice it's there but me. I know it's there. That's irritating, but that, that's, that's my nitpicky or whatever. And of course, I'm going to end up lifting it with a piece of tape and maybe hiding it a little better, but it's still going to stick out some so that the remote can pick it up and change it. And uh, let's see. And you've got to point it out. There's, there's no missing. It's not one of those that'll bounce off well. But I mean, overall, it looks good. Oh, I was gonna tell you the puck lights on the back, uh, where you pull the adhesive off. It's actually Velcro. So now that's kind of cool. If one of them does break, and you can pull them all apart one by one. So if you got another pack and you had four extra, or even kind of in this case, if I bought two extra and I went ahead and did the two, I could put the other two up. Now that, that's a good idea. I'm actually brainstorming in front of you. How about that? Um, but anyway, you could put those other two up and you have two backups. So if one goes out, if anything happens, I mean, these might not be the super best products. This isn't a long-term thing or long-term post or review or anything. This is just installed. So if one of these went out, I can easily pull the Velcro off of the one, throw that one away, and put the other one and Velcro it on instead of having to actually pull the adhesive off and retry to do everything and put new adhesive on there. It'll just pull off by the Velcro. You put your other piece on your new light with its Velcro and you Velcro it up there. Now that, that's some good detail right there. I would have taken Bluetooth or Wi-Fi over this any day of the week. But hey, that is a nice little addition to where if I do decide to get another pack and I go ahead and try to fill these in a little more, we'll see down the road how I do it or if I like it that way. But uh, overall, it's just these are great. 
and it is kind of irritating me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like on this wall and this wall, you can see the light pointing over here. There's a dark spot from this light, and there's dark spots from this light. So it's definitely better, especially wide or something like this, to go ahead and have two per shelf. They'll fill in better. But overall, I mean, if you just want something like this to look good, I think it looks good. It's going to be this way for a while. I don't think I'm going to buy another pack right now. I absolutely love it. I, this is a great buy, in my opinion. We do LED, RGB stuff all over the house, so this is a nice little extra addition. A little touch. You need a little something over here. I haven't got me a Philips Hue light in that uh, lamp yet. So, hey, this looks great for me. Just don't lose the remote. You only have one. I've got a five-year-old that loves these. I've got kittens that are waking up now. But overall, I love it. I, I think it looks really good. It's a nice little extra touch. So if you want to pick them up, like I said, I'm going to drop a link in the below. The under cabinet lighting by Basin. Got it on Amazon, $35. Two days later, it was here. Super easy to install. Looks great. They're bright. I absolutely love them. You should check into them. Hey, if y'all like videos like this and want to see more, go ahead and go below and uh, click that subscribe button for me if you don't mind. Shoot me a big thumbs up. really helps the channel, especially if you stayed this long. <laughs> definitely, definitely give me a thumbs up. I'm going to need some of those. But uh, definitely want to talk more. We'll get more RGB lights. I'm going to get new TVs and stuff to review on here. Going to get that Xbox Series X soon. Excited about that. Got plenty of stuff to review and talk about. So smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one. Out.